This is a video I'm going to show you how to change the front panel on the HTP 221, the inverted. So, first things first, you're going to have these uh, screws here. They're a 20, a T20 Torx, and uh, we're going to take them off. And then up here on the top is a little cover, and I'm going to show you how to get that out. It's very simple, and it'll make your life easier if you do it the way I should. What I do here is I take uh, a pointed, small pointed object. In this case, I'm using actually a little piece of tungsten, and I'm going to get right in there and then just gently pry up, and that will pop it. There you go. And once you take that out, there's a small screw down inside there. I don't know if we can get in there to see it. And we're going to perform the same procedure on this rear one. That's going to allow us to uh, get the handle out so that we can remove the cover. Okay, you can see now, I'm just going to wiggle this. You give it a little tap like that, it comes off. It just, that captures this right in here. So once everything is loose, these handles will come off and you can get to the next stage of taking off the cover. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to proceed to take these screws out and there's uh, one, two, three, four, five on each side so that's going to be ten screws that you're going to have to remove and once I get that out we'll go to the next step. Once you've removed the screws from the side of the case and the handles from the top you notice that there are two more retention screws that reside under the handle in the front and in the rear. These also will have to be removed. Okay, once you've removed the screws from the front and rear of the uh, case, you can gently pull that forward and gently pull that back and this top will slide right up and off. Now, there's a small ground clip in there. I'm going to have to show you. Once you get it up a little high like this, you're going to reach your hand in there and you're going to undo that clip. Okay, we lift this up, and in here, you can see that little connection. Simply disconnect that, and the top's going to come right off. So we'll reach in there, and we'll give that a little wiggle, and there we go. Top comes off, and we've exposed the inside of the machine. Now, you'll have a cover on the machine like this. It's just simply like a little dust cover or insulator, actually, that keeps anything, any of the components inside from touching the outside of the case, that also will lift off. Once we get that off, we're going to take a look inside and we're going to see what we have to do to change this front panel. Okay, here's the machines opened up. This little plastic cover has been removed and like I said, it just lifts right off. This is the board. This is the whole front face. We're going to undo four little nuts and then we're going to undo some of this cabling. It's very, very simple and very straightforward. And if you just take your time and do it gently, everything's going to come out just right. We're not going to touch this cable here. We're going to remove this cable, these two cables. There's a cable below and one over on the other side. And I'll show you, it's very, very easy to do. Cables like this, these are just push. You push this connector and lift it right out. You push this connector, it releases, and lift it right out. This one here in the middle, these wings spread out, and it just ejects that cable just like that. A lot of guys are going to try and push them. Don't push them. You'll break them. They won't release. They pull out. Same with this one here. There's one on the bottom, one on the top. If you push it, it'll just come out. That frees everything up, except for this bottom connector. We'll be able to get that out once we loosen up the bolts and get the uh, the board itself out. Okay, now when you've removed the four nuts, one, two, three, four, down at the bottom, if you just gently grab the front panel, it'll slide right out. And there you go. I mean, it's really straightforward. When you do that, now you have access to the bottom of this plug and you simply release the latch and pull it out. I'm not going to do that with one hand because I don't want to drop this board. Installation is exactly the reverse of that, and I'll go over that 
as soon as I get this board out. But there you go. It's really not a big deal. Everything is modular, so you don't have to do any soldering or any weird connections or figuring out what goes where. Everything goes in its proper place, and it's very, very simple to do. One quick note here. As you remove this board, you'll see there's one more connection. It's a ground leg, and that, too, just pulls off. It's just a uh, push connector. So you're going to remove that as well. It will be very obvious when you take the board out because you'll see that it's connected right there. Now that's soldered to the board, so don't let this dangle when you put the new one in. At this point, you've got the cover off, you've got the front panel out. Might be a nice idea if you've had the machine for any length of time to just blow the inside out. Uh, these machines are sealed up pretty well, but you will get some dust and dirt in there, and it never hurts to do a little bit of dusting off once you've got the innards exposed like this. I will suggest that you don't hit it with 200 PSI of shop air. Uh, as well built as these machines are, they're not built out of rebar and angle channel. So you might want to just tone down your, uh, your pressure. And also make sure that your, your airline is clear and free of any moisture. You don't want to be dusting this thing off with oily water out of a really old air compressor. So if you can follow those little uh, hints, you'll probably have a, a good deal. If your compressor is really uh, from back in the day, maybe you just want to leave it alone. But a little, little bit of air blowing off, a little dusting, isn't going to hurt anything. And uh, if you're in a particularly dirty environment, probably a good thing. Once you get this bottom plug in, then I suggest you mount the nuts that affix the front panel to the frame of the machine, the front face of the machine. And then you can go and install all the rest of the plugs. Just be aware, if you have any tugging on this plug or if it doesn't seem like it wants to go in, there should be ample slack on these plugs to go into any one of these uh, receptacles. If not, just stop what you're doing and check. Just make sure that uh, it's not hung up on something, one of the ribbons or the cables, because uh, you don't want to pull something out of somewhere else. Okay, so just take your time and this will be a really very simple and straightforward job to do.